bit nervous. As you can't tell. And uh, I knew that I had broken my rib. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're here. We made it. It was an awesome trip. Yeah, it was excellent. Great haul. He's under, folks. He's under. Tenfold unsuccessful. Oh, see that? It's a river por porpoise there. So I rocked up into this town uh, last night at sunset, hauled up my boat on that dock, carried it up along here, cross over here to this restaurant, which I had stayed at before actually, or I had stored the kayak at before. It's a nice spot right over the water. Had a really nice iced tea and some food. And then I hauled my stuff up over to the Penginapan, which is, I guess, another word for guest house. I wonder if it's more like a pension house. Anyways, I don't know what it stands for. Had a good sleep at the Swallows. Really comfy bed, actually. And now I'm just heading here. Stopped for breakfast. I'm gonna have some gato gato. Stuff's all ready to go. The current's flowing down, which is a good sign. I don't know how much longer it's gonna do that, so I do really wanna get going pretty fast here. Got myself a nice cup of tea. Lota. And my gato gato has arrived. Terimakase. Oh, this is my favorite Indonesian breakfast. Alright, we just moved the kayak. Over on the restaurant, down to the dock again. This guy's loading his stuff up on the boat. It's good to go. Alright, successful launch. Sort of. Put a lot of weight when you're pushing it off the boat, off the dock, so like half the, the weight of the boat was taking the weight, right? And so the pressure was right in the middle of the boat. I heard a little crack, but I'm not sure if that was just the sound of the plastic on the metal. Hopefully no serious damage to the boat, because that would suck. It's still floating now. I gotta keep paddling because the tide's gonna change direction and go against me here if I don't get out of this channel. And it sounds like once I get out of this channel when the tide switches, it's gonna push me in the right direction. So that's sweet. I'm not sure though, that's unreliable information from my broken Bahasa and from a boat pilot who... <sighs> who am I talking to? Is there somebody in there? It's super tricky sometimes not to get all like nervous and, and anxious and like sort of uh, stressed out about kayaking around here because I have so little information on the tides and the wind forecasts aren't completely reliable. They've been okay, but there's lots of little sort of microsystems around here and a microsystem can be giant for me. Um, but uh, but yeah, right now, like I just paddled out of this place and the current was going against me for the first hour, which was unexpected because it was still supposed to be going low tide. I was at the river mouth and low tide wasn't for another hour. So I figured the river and the tide would still be going out. But, uh, for some reason where I, I was, the tide had already started coming in there. It was sort of weird. I don't know if it was just my tide chart was inaccurate. It had worked for me before, the same exact tide chart, but maybe it was just a bit hour difference or something where I was, I don't know. Anyways, I uh, I hoped that if I paddled out beyond the entrance to the river, you can see like there's land over there, that's sort of one side of the mouth, and then this is an island. Uh, so I guess I'm sort of out of the, finally after like two kilometers beyond the end of the river mouth, so it's probably about 10 kilometers of paddling, the, the current has now changed and it's pushing me in the right direction, which is great. And the wind is uh, somewhat favorable. It'll probably be a bit of a side beam wind for me. I think I'm heading straight that way. I just gotta pull up the map here a second. That is the way I came from the first time and I got a lot more wind protection there, but it was quite a bit longer. And I don't know what the currents are gonna do on this narrow passage that I came through. So I'm just gonna hope that everything works out for me going straight that way. Palm plantations everywhere here. It's all palm, palm de palm, palm, palm. Yeah, but I'm stoked that this is working out so far. Lots of stress <laughs> to start, but <sighs> feeling good now.
not too much stress, I should say, just anticipation, a little bit of anxiety anticipation, wondering what's going to happen, if I'm going to have to paddle like crazy all day, which is still a very big possibility. The wind switches or the currents are shit. Like it's the difference between like two hours of paddling or potentially eight hours of paddling if everything goes unfortunate. I'm banking on about five to six hours of paddling. That's where I put my money. We'll see how it goes. It's about to, uh, time to put some sunblock on and cover up. I'm going to turn crispy. Thanks for joining me. Maybe a third across. You can see the land there is quite a bit closer than the land over there. Yeah, I'd say I'm a third away. Maybe somewhere around there. This is like a decent sized crossing. I think it would probably only be about 15 kilometers or 10 kilometers if I went straight across, but I'm just sort of going on a diagonal route across it. Partly because it's just a more direct route to where I want to go, but uh, more importantly, the current is pushing me that way. So if I uh, didn't make a direct crossing, then I would uh, I would potentially miss it. The current's blowing me sort of that way. That way, current, wind, that way. So if I went straight across, then I'd be sort of battling the wind back up this way. So I'm getting the best of the current and the wind, sort of splitting it down the middle and heading uh, straight ahead. Uh, no real big traffic concern in here. The biggest things I've seen are these uh, tugs towing these barges, and they're actually moving slower than me. I gained on them, and I was uh, thought I might have a collision course with this guy, but he ended up pulling up ahead of me. And, uh, he was quite a bit smaller when I first saw him, and uh, I gained on him quite a bit. I'm gonna... Anyways, I'm going to keep going just in case the weather changes. Uh, I want to take advantage of this current and these winds for sure before something changes and then I'm in trouble. All right, continue. You. <laughs> I gotta stop saying you. Yes. Woohoo. Ba ba ba. All right. I think I'm definitely getting to the middle now. And there's some islands. You can call them that. Tiny little rock. Couple rocks. Which has actually calmed down the water behind it. Which is sort of nice. I got a little, a little rest in it. <coughs> Do little other islands further down the way there. All's well, otherwise I'm feeling pretty good. A bit tired, but no, that's not surprising. I'm tempted to go over and stand on the rocks, but uh, stuff's just favorable right now, and I don't want to delay. <laughs> Coconut! Coconuts! Orangila. Bule gila. Bule bule gila. Bule bole minta saya itu. Situ. Bule bole minta saya itu. Itu. I did the right thing to keep on paddling when the current was favorable because it did indeed switch on me. Thankfully, I was somewhat close to land on the other side. And I made it over to land here. Pretty perfect timing right in the middle of the heat of the day. Some fishermen tried to guide me somewhere, but I just rocked up right here because I thought this might be a restaurant. I saw tables out front of it. There's the kayak and it is a restaurant and they had a pile of coconuts in front of it and they have ice. And they had fresh water. So I just had an amazing, nice cold shower and I'm sitting down to a coconut and some iced tea. Oh yeah. It really doesn't get much better than that. That is perfect. I was like in a sauna out there on the way in. My arms are getting pretty tired too. And I got some nasi goreng. And some ikan and a sambal sauce. So good, just so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> Lone rock with a little tree. Beached whale. And what I'm 
guessing is an offshore oil rig. On the islands, it's nothing but mud and sand and dirt, and you never really see any rocks, but there seems to be rock deposits on the, on the outside of this island. Sampan Chantik. Finishing up the day here. Whoo! Tired. Ready to stop. Ready to eat some food. My uh, wrists and hands getting pretty sore. Feel okay, considering though. Considering the epic day! So, I just pulled up on a beach in the dark. Some other people were pulling up on a boat, asked them for some help, so we dragged the kayak up. Well, we lifted the kayak up onto a ground here, and bit of a walk so I decided to finally put the wheels on which I've been carrying around this whole time but haven't used once but they're working great I got my new friends here the police <laughs> awesome they're just going over here there's a little canteen restaurant or something like that it just rolls nicely isn't that nice that's sweet I can just roll this thing right around oh is that some goats in the parking lot over there. I think this is a ferry terminal parking lot here. I'll just put it here for now. You can always move it around pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah. So I just rolled my kayak up to the to the canteen here. Pretty sweet. Got some nasi goreng, some uh, mi rebus coming, some iced tea. I'm stoked. Maybe I can even use their washroom and have a shower. <laughs> so super nice for these folks to offer me a place to sleep in the building. They even let me bring my boat in. Security guard was watching Rambo with the volume turned down. But right as I lay down to sleep, we decided to turn the volume up. Sleeping with Rambo. Or attempting to. Not very well.